Hey everyone, this is Jesse Foster, aka Entrance, and I'm coming at you guys here with another strategy segment. This strategy segment will be on something that I call the mental math workout. It's an idea that I sort of concocted in my head, and it's similar, uh, if you watch the equity trainer workout, it's similar to that one. This is basically a drill, and it drills some very important fundamental skills. Now, as we're playing, uh, I'm sure you guys probably know the, the formula for calculating bluff odds and calculating pot odds, uh, but how, off, how good are you at, at applying it in real time? Can you look at something and calculate it within one, one second? Because that's the time frame that you're going to need when you're playing uh, multiple tables against possible, you know, if you're playing heads up against multiple opponents, against, you know, six max, you're playing six or more tables, you need to be able to do the math quickly. So all that theoretical knowledge is great, but it's not the quickest. So again, this is, there's theory, which is great, and this is applied. This teaches you basically to memorize the numbers so that when you do get into, uh, into a situation where you need to use them, such as calculating implied odds, calculating uh, how often your bluff needs to work, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, you can know those numbers quickly and you won't have to fumble around and make some sort of guess. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys how this works. I've built this spreadsheet here. It took me a couple of hours. And what this thing is going to do is uh, basically provide a framework to make it very easy for you to do this. So the first section that we'll be going over is just bluff odds. So right here in the bluff odds section, also, by the way, I'm going to, just like in my equity trainer uh, workout, I'm going to post or I'm going to uh, upload this file to Mega Upload and you guys can download it. I would highly suggest you do. Uh, I put a lot of time into this and it will probably help you make things easier. So, bluff odds. What we're doing is we're calculating how often our bluff needs, or not calculating, but guessing how often our bluff needs to work. Um, so in this case, we're going to guess $200 into $100 has to work what percentage of the time. So when you do this, I would highly suggest that you take 10 seconds or less for your answer. Don't use a calculator. Uh, don't try and work out the math uh, totally manually. Uh, just try and go with what you think is correct. Um, if you do use a calculator, you're completely defeating the point of this. Um, so, yeah, so I guess, I mean, I've done this before, so I'm going to guess 67%. Ooh, I was correct. Great. I'm going to guess 60% here. Oh, what a surprise. Uh, actually, I'm not too sure about this one. Uh, oh, I was off. And as you can see here, on the points, uh, your points are based on how accurate you are, and then there's an average difference number over here. So let's go ahead and continue. I know that one's 50%. 75 into 100, that has to work, I think, uh, 40%? 43? Okay, well, this one's 40. Uh, 50 into 100 has to work. That's going to be 33. And that's going to have to work. I'm not completely sure about that one. 30? Oh, way off. And this one's 20. Okay. So as we can see here, uh, my biggest average difference was uh, 5%. And over here in the report section, you can see that the average difference was only 1%. My score was 8.71 points out of 9, and my accuracy was 97%. So that's pretty good. Um, I've done this before, and you know, for a lot of you guys, it's going to be fairly easy and not take you too long, or you might already know this, but it can't hurt to get better at it. You might even try uh, if you get 100%, try and do it as quickly as you possibly can. Because the quicker and quicker you can do it, the quicker you can apply it in real time. Okay, so let's move on to the next section. The next section is outs to odds to percentages with one card to come. I'll go into a little bit later about uh, why I chose with one card to come and what you can do to easily calculate two cards to come using these same numbers. So. What we're doing here is we've been given a set amount of outs, 1 through 22, and we're going to guess what our odds to hit are, okay? 
So in this case, our odds to hit are 46 to 1. Okay, I know that offhand. And then I'm also going to guess what is the percentage that we are going to hit. Um, in this case, it's 2%. All right. And again, we can see that it's calculating for points and difference. Um, so for 2, I'm going to say we have 2 outs. Okay, so with one card to come, we have 23. And that's going to be 4%. Okay. And let's take a look at, okay, 3 outs would be 15. And that's going to be about 6%. So as you can see here, it's about a 2%. You uh, have about 2% chance to hit for each for each possible out. That's one good rule of thumb. Um, the actual number is about 2.15 uh, percentage points for each out. Okay, so that's what you do. You go all the way through here and convert all of these different ones. Then at the end, you'll have a summary here of your outs to odds, um, how you did on your points and your average difference and your accuracy there. And same thing for your odds to percentage summary. And then it'll be calculated into a grand summary over here. And then I have a little log page built in here so you can keep track of when you do this. And I would also suggest that maybe you do this um, three times a week. And for these sections right here, or for the bluff odds, actually for all of them, I would suggest doing um, two to three times each time you do it. So three times two through three times a week. And you could just enter the date three times with three different scores, or you could do whatever you want, however you guys want to track it. Um, and so one more, one last thing about why I'm choosing one card to come. It's a lot easier to calculate your equity with one card to come. Um, and as far as percentages go, um, you could easily take the, oh, there goes my phone. Um, you could easily take your odds to hit and double them. And th those will be roughly your, uh, percentage to hit on the next card. And conversely for your odds, you can click. You can take um, your odds to hit, divide it by two, and that will be around your uh, around your chances to hit with two cards to come. So yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, one metaphor I use for this type of stuff is, you know, if we're training a martial art or any any fighting sport. The first thing that we have to learn is learn how to kick and punch. You can be the smartest fighter in the world who knows the best strategy, but if you can't uh, if you can't punch someone with correct form and you just uh, kind of slap your arms at them, you're not going to be any good. So it's the same thing with poker. You know, it's you have to have these fundamental skills down to do well, and so the only way to do that is through repetition. So I hope this helps, and if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I haven't rigorously tested out the spreadsheet. If you do find a bug, let me know, and I will try and fix it. All right, thanks.